think it can learn a lot from the United States, even though it probably doesn't want to. And I think fundamentally what it has to learn is the protection of the freedom of speech and the freedom of expression, which I think is fundamental. I think people, people feel disempowered and the kind of exchange of ideas depends on you having a kind of absolute and fundamental protection to say whatever you want and to have other people say things to you, even if you don't want to hear them or if you, you know, you, you feel offended by them. I think we have to have the right to offend and to be offended, which is not in any way to say any rights of violence ever, um, but certainly a constitutional right to, to say silly things. Um, I think another thing that it can learn from the states, and this is kind of the state's interaction, as it were, with the rest of the world, which Europe doesn't have, um, because it's not welcoming of immigrants. And I think fundamental to um, what's wrong with Europe at the moment is this notion that we don't want immigration. We don't, you know, we've, we've gone off immigration. We don't want people moving around Europe. We don't want people coming from outside of Europe. And if you look at the states, what you're getting is what we know is this huge the whole country is a country of immigrants and it's immigrants that are proud to be immigrants it's immigrants that keep contacts with the countries they come from and the heritages they're from and that's what makes for a more perfect union i mean when they're talking when the us talks about a more perfect union that's essentially what they're talking about they're talking about this this notion that it's not perfect but the more cultural diversity you get into the mix the stronger it becomes and they very much celebrate that now that's not to say that everything's perfect there because it certainly isn't and their policies certainly aren't and you know, there's always a cost to what what they do but it's certainly in terms of what they view as fundamental rights i think europe should learn from that and it doesn't um, i think there's too much clamp down on people's ability to express themselves even when we don't like what they say or what they wear or what they do and i think what we can also learn from Latin America, and this also it works a little bit in the States if you think about it, is this devolution of powers as much as possible to the lowest kind of level, the lowest kind of political level. So in a state like, in a country like Peru, the government, the state is not trusted. It's, it doesn't work. It's, it's always associated with corruption and violence. So what you end up, what ends up happening is regional areas and just small municipalities are the ones that have to take control of making people's lives better. So it starts with small things like improving streets, planting flowers, planting trees, um, building homes for old people, and it spreads out. And it has to be that way. If you don't do it that way, if it's somebody that has a plan up on top that says, well, you know, everybody has to plant this kind of tree, we're going to do these ecological improvements over here, but very quickly people don't own it and I think that's one of the problems in Europe at the moment that people don't feel well we don't feel as citizens that we own anything we feel uh, well that I don't personally feel this but I think a lot of the discourse is that Europe is somehow controlling us somehow sending stuff down telling us what to do and that's very dangerous and I think in some ways it ties in with this notion of freedom of expression that what I want to have is a debate with extremely right-wing people extremely left-wing people people in the center I want that exchange of ideas I want people to think things that they haven't thought I want them to try it out I want them to talk about it um, and I'm not sure that's particularly being fostered in Europe at the moment and that's very very dangerous because it's co closing down possibilities both cultural and intellectual and there'll be a very heavy price to pay I'm afraid so hopefully we'll learn some of those lessons from around the world